cycle. So it's a big difference for tomorrow versus today. So I really want to focus on Tuesday here. You're going to see storms fire up out to the west side of Texas in the afternoon hours. I think right about 4 o'clock, right before that evening commute. Starting out isolated at first, but clustering as we head into the late night hours, moving into Oklahoma after sundown. Oklahoma City is included in this risk. Dallas is not. I think those storms probably fizzle out before they get to Dallas. Even in Oklahoma City, they, they weaken before they get to the city itself. Uh, but on the west side of the state, yes, we could absolutely see some large hail. So I did up those hail sizes for tomorrow. Anywhere from ping pong ball sized hail up to golf balls. And I did put Amarillo, Midland, and Fort Stockton in that level two risk for storms tomorrow. I could see that going up. Des Moines, also in a risk for some larger hail for tomorrow. So this is in Iowa. Uh, we could see, again, that golf ball size hail tomorrow. I kept that in a level two risk as well. Uh, for Charlotte, so we're going out to the east coast here. We're in North Carolina now. Very low risk for large hail. I'm keeping this lower, like the size of a quarter. So very, very small hail out to the east coast, but of course it gets bigger as we head into Oklahoma, Texas, and Kansas. Um, Amarillo, again, Midland, Fort Stockton, all in that better chance to see that larger hail. This would be the area right here, especially on the west side of this risk, that I would expect that larger hail to fall. And again, that risk level could go up as we get more information on this storm system for tomorrow. What are we talking about? Max forecasted hail size tomorrow, I would say up to the size of a hen egg, right around two inches in size. I think that's absolutely possible. I think we could maybe even see tennis ball size hail. I don't know, we'll see um, what those storms do. If they can stay isolated and organized, they could produce that larger hail 